Hey guys, this is Eric. I was just gonna show you the damage that these hornworms have done in our bed. This was actually a really thick, full, full bed of potatoes. <clears throat> and they've really, they've really took down the potatoes. I mean, but just in a day or two here, hornworm damage quick. We're going, to try, we're going to try to get these under control. We've been out here trying to find them. But it sucks. I mean, you can't believe the damage these guys have did in just a matter of a few days. But also, I wanted to show you guys how our fall crop's coming along as well. I mean, I guess the one good thing about the potatoes is if they eat those, I still got the potatoes in the... the the potatoes in the ground they're just eating the uh the greens off the top but the it's just gonna make the potatoes not as big as they should have been i'll take you guys around and show you guys the uh the fall crop that we got going on the uh goats pruned my uh green beans back really nicely for us you can see, look at that. The whole underneath section, but it don't look like they've actually got the vine itself. Just the bottom leaves. You can come through here and see all these Asian yard longs. Those are all through here. Going crazy. They're all down through here. That's one thing we got to get done is get these green beans right here picked, steal this hair, get that all tilled up. And I'll take you up on the hill. We had some uh, heavy wind yesterday. Blew over a lot of the sweet corn up here. I mean, this poor sweet corn's it's had everything through at it. It's like they don't want me to make any sweet corn this year. You can see some all laying down. So we're gonna have to go out here and try to get these all laid back up. So this is all t starting to all tassel out now. You got that strong wind came in through last night. We also, we got to get these, uh, these beans through here. They're starting to come on. Well, what we're going to be doing with these is just letting them fill out and then just pick the whole plant out and pick them at the house. And, get, and then till this all back up. But I want to come over here and show you guys this fall crops coming up thick. And also we got a melon right here. This is gonna be our fall garden over here. This bed's got a, uh, these first three beds I think that we built has got uh, radishes and carrots mixed together. Then if you see down through here, I planted a whole row of okra. I've never grew okra before. This is the first time I had a couple packages and I thought I would try it out. But we got quite a bit of rain last night. Also right over here, I got two rows of sweet corn. That's just, they're coming up good. This is a 64 day corn, so we should have plenty enough time for it to be done. And if you can see all the little green, it, it's real strong over here. This stuff did, it came up thick, guys. This is all those turnips. You gotta go through here, some of these rows, I can tell it's not a, 
not a turnip or a lettuce and kill it. But look how thick those came up. Those are all those turnips. The beds are just full. We might have a good crop of turnips, you know. We'll have to go through here and thin them out. But I'm going to just let them grow thick for right now and try to get a decent uh, cover crop on. Then <laughs> help keep the weeds out. This, area, this big old space here we left empty. Boy, you can see all the grass popping up already in this this last row right here is some extra cucumbers and they're popping up. And this row all the way down and cucumbers. Boy, look at all the grass coming up through here. But the turnips did pop up good. They're still thick even with these in there. Imagine how thick they would have been if I didn't use any sand to help thin it out. And we might have a decent rows of uh, turnips and stuff here for the fall. It's just the roads are covered really good. Hope we can keep control of the weeds popping up. I was pretty happy this sweet corn popped up pretty good though. Anyway, we got only two rows of it. It didn't pop up too good over here. But they did this row really popped up good. It's all the way down through there. Then it's st this row starts about here and gets thick. So we might get a little harvest of this this, this fall. I'm interested in seeing how these okras do though. That's pretty cool. All our winter squash and melons are all still doing pretty good despite all the weeds that's in there. This poor plant, it really needs to be weeded out. I had that weeded out once. This is soft. I'm sinking as I'm walking through here. I don't see any little cantaloupes yet. Yeah, well, I haven't seen any. Not saying they're not there, but I know at least I got a few watermelons that's coming up, especially that one. And that's how everything's doing for the fall garden and up here on top of the hill, that's a little harder for us to take care of. starting to silk out I gotta get this stuff back up in the air have the kids come out here and help me this one's totally on the ground yeah it's totally came out I'll probably just feed that to the goats I never fertilized this corn yet. I was going to when we got all that heat and I didn't want to do it. See, there's some more corn coming on, laid over. I, we just mowed this grass between these rows just a few days ago. It's already coming back thick. Look at this stock right here that don't got a tassel on it. It's, got, it's what, got three different ears on it. Let's shake some of this pollen off onto it. 
I don't know if this is capturing it falling onto those silks or not, but I can see it with my eyes. There's a bunch of pollen. But hey guys, if you like this type of stuff, please hit that like button and subscribe. Thank you guys.